okay, so the script, it is called the Vector Thrust OS. It's this right here. And uh, it's not mine. Um, it's available on the workshop. Um, you just, you, you, as long as you build your ship with the thrusters on the nacelles, uh, you load the same, and it works pretty much plug and play. You do need to read the workshop description. There is, a, there is a command you need to put on your hotbar to toggle basically like the power level. Think of it as like, I call it the throttle. That's, that's how I label it on the, on the hotbar. All right, so see on position nine down there, uh, you can see the label, it says VTOS program run gear. So gear is the command. And um, if you think of it like a car, like a standard car, uh, a car with a standard transmission, you have like first gear, second gear. And like in first gear, you have, uh, well, it kind of breaks down actually. It's, uh, the analogy breaks down. But um, the way the author wrote this mod is like in, by default, it has three gears. And in first gear, you have like the lowest amount of power. And so what people tend to see when they first use it, and what I saw, I actually didn't use the script for like two years because I didn't, I didn't understand this. Like when you first run it, it's going to look like this. You'll notice my thrusters are up, down, and I'll have, when I push forward, they go backwards. And I was like, ah, that sucks. The script's broken. It's not broken. What it is, it's in first gear. It's in the lowest power setting. The script says if you're in first gear, your th forward thrust should only be some percentage, which you, you actually don't ever know. It doesn't tell you. I don't think. Um, I've never seen it anyways. Uh, it'll, it'll say, like, okay, you shouldn't be going over, like, uh, well, I have the RTS mod in, but, like, for example, this is trying to keep me, I don't know, below probably 10 meters per second. So I'm accelerating. I have fixed forward thrusters, so it's it's going, the, the craft is going much faster faster forward than than the script thinks I want it to so you hit the gear uh, command and it'll shift to the next gear um, like I said by default there are three I always change it so there's only two so it's kind of like a high and a low power so when I put it in now I've got it in second gear I've got full thrust available for forward and backwards you know whatever so and then if I go to back to low power like that so i just do the two gears um unless you have you want to set it up on one of your screens or you can actually see the physical programming block running the script there's no way to know what gear you're in um he does have a graphical interface that shows you like it's like a bar and depending which gear you're in is which which block in the bar is like green or something um I don't really think it fits the aesthetic of all the other interfaces that I that I have on the like in the cockpit, so I don't I don't like to use it. Um, but it's there if you want to use it. Uh, otherwise, like what what I do is I just have the two gears, so I have like high and low power, and it's really easy to tell which one I'm in, right? If I hit thrust and it goes right, and it looks like it's supposed to, I'm in high power, right? And if I hit thrust and the engines point backwards, I'm in low power. And I'll use low low power for like landing because it does it does kind of keep you from going really too fast. So anyway, that's the that's the script. Let's go ahead and throw the uh, throw the programmable block in here. I didn't have a anything more specific than I don't know some kind of vector thrust vehicle. In mind when I started working on it. Data. All right. DOS. That. All this default. This is where you change the number of gears you have, and this is the percentage of power that the that the uh, block that the program will try to use. This is 15% power, or 15% total thrust. 50 percent. Hmm. 15 and 50 and 100 and i usually just delete the 50 so i've got low power for like docking close maneuvering landing and then and then full power um and then and you can mess with all this other stuff i 
this is basically all like controls like how much do you want what do you want it to do when you when you connect to something or when you land or shut down or whatever and I, I generally wanted to manage that stuff for me yeah and then this is a performance setting so at zero the, this basically the script by default will run every single frame which is which is super high fidelity but also um, well one craft won't affect the sim speed but you know if you have three players and each player has say six of these things you know that's 18 craft running so it, it could add up I don't really know the how many it would take but it could add up I don't expect it's probably a very large number but if you set it to one you'll basically uh, the, the the program will run like every other frame so that literally going from zero to one cuts its sim impact in half and if you go to two it cuts it into two a third so to run every third frame um, and I said that zero is the highest fidelity of but there it, it's it is the highest fidelity technically but from a human perception um, perspective you won't notice the difference so I usually use two um, I've never once taken one and, and like had an engagement or something and lost and, or, or and blown up and then been like ah, the program just wasn't running fast enough it wasn't responsive it's just it's just never happened so uh two is good um probably get away even with three or four let's try let's try four see how it works okay so there's that and we need to apply tags so this will slap that tag that i created on all the important things And what I do, grab all of these, not the cab here, ETOS system. And I also want, there are no side thrusters. Need to add that. Need to add side thrusters, at least one. Maybe I can put some fans on. Um, this one, and then I also need one, two, three, four. So now this group, when I turn this group on and off, everything related to flying will turn on and off. Here we go. Run here. Call it throttle. So this is what happens when you first install it. Those thrusters are pointing backwards. Oh, well, if you put fixed thrusters on there. Um, DTOS batteries recharge. DTOS on, off. Uh, switch lock. And these should not be on there. Turn thrusters. Oop. There we go. And. Uh, we got that bad boy there. You are good. Here. And... Alright, cool. 